I don't want to believe that my kids and the kids of my kids can't have a bright future. I never wanted to move into politics, but I believe if you get the opportunity to take responsibility, this is where you need to step up. What kind of world do you want to live in? And what kind of world do you want to leave behind for the next generation? We cannot leave it to the government, we cannot leave it to the private sectors to build this kind of vision. We all need to contribute to make this vision of the world to become reality. For social activism to achieve its mission, governments need to stop seeing protesters as adversaries and instead as the source for the momentum necessary to create great changes. Fake news is not going anywhere. The money and political incentives are far too great. We need to equip the general citizenry to read and watch content with a critical eye, to exercise critical thinking, to check their own confirmation bias. Nous avons une prise de conscience grandissante de l'importance de placer l'humain et l'éthique au cœur du développement des technologies. C'est avant tout de ne pas enlever l'humain. Ce qu'il faut, c'est utiliser l'intelligence artificielle en interaction avec l'humain. Online lives of people are also offline lives of people. I think that the images of many women in the video are seen by many women, so that the older women are more helpful to the older women, and that the older women are able to get out of the way of the women's experience. We must understand and protect and safeguard women's experiences online. To reduce violence against women online, we must be allies online. We must understand that women are disproportionately affected. People now recognize that uh, a basic right, uh, which is the right to shelter, is at risk, is jeopardizing uh, their quality of life, their quality of family life. And so people are now speaking about it. And most importantly, they're demanding from their politicians action on this issue. I think feeling either optimistic or pessimistic is totally futile. It is not hope that leads to action, it's action that leads to hope. So whether or not you are pessimistic or optimistic is irrelevant. The question is, what are you doing? How are you involved? Well, the trouble with protests is you're asking somebody else to change, like a government. But in fact, change, real social change, deep social change, requires society itself to change. And obviously, that means the protester, we, have to do the change. Even if we are going through difficult times, and the future is not looking very bright. It's very important to be positive, not become this cynical uh, reflection of our past. We've spent centuries um, in a situation where one slither of society has really been in charge of everybody else. And now I see a growing understanding that having better inclusion is good for everyone. Life is too short. People need to learn to open their arms and accept others.